Daily oral language sentence number 59. Allow me to put it up on your screen. First thing you might say when you see this is, oh great, a short sentence. There's not a lot of errors in here. But I'm gonna tell you now, there are a ton of errors in the sentence and it's a lot of the things we've been practicing this year. So please go over it and see how well you can do. I'm gonna read it out loud. A lot of people could of flee the destruction caused by the St. Lawrence River's flooding, dad said. I'll read it again. A lot of people could have fleed the destruction caused by the St. Lawrence River's flooding, Dad said. Excellent. So I'm going to ask you the same thing I always ask when I see something called Dad said, and I realize that this is, or somebody said something, that this is a quoted sentence. And I ask, what are the only words that Dad didn't say out loud in the sentence? And of course, the answer would be, Dad did not say, Dad said, he said everything else. I'm saying that dad said this. So how do I show that dad said this? Two things. I show what dad didn't say by putting a comma before dad said. I can put a period at the end of it as well while I'm here. And how do I show what dad did say? I put quotation marks before a lot and I put quotation marks after the comma. Now, please remember, I understand that at the end of the sentence, there should be a period, but because I added the words dad said and I elongated the sentence, I put a comma to show the end of what dad said, and the period goes at the end of dad said to show that this is the end of this whole sentence here. Let's go to the top. A lot of people. Everybody at this point would tell me to capitalize a lot, and hopefully, everybody would also be telling me to do what with a lot. That is correct. Separate it out. Remember, a lot is two different words and it always is. So it's capital A space L-O-T. So let's get rid of it there and say a lot of people, let's put our quotation marks before a lot as well. So we have a lot of people could of fleed. Now take a look at people. For some reason, people don't normally see this in my class. A lot of students just look right past this. Notice people, that spells popel or poeple or however, however you want to pronounce that. No, people is E-O not O-E, so make sure you notice that and fix that, please. And we have could of. Remember, you can't have the word of after could. You don't say could of fled, it's could have fled. And of course, if you want to, you can make the contraction. I'll show you up here. You can put apostrophe, V-E. Now remember, that, that's why people think you say, say the word of after could, because the, the apostrophized version, the contracted version of could have is could have which sounds like the word of, but it's not. You're really contracting with the words could and have, and that's the only way you can say it. So we will say a lot of people could have fleed. Oh no, not could have fleed, could have fled. Get rid of one of the O's and one of the E's and fleed and make it fled. They could have fled the destruction. Take a look at destruction, there's something wrong with it. What word is in destruction? Destroy, how do we spell destroy? D-E-S, it's destroy. So it's destruction, D-E-S-T-R-U-C-T-I-O-N. So a lot of people could have fled the destruction caused by the St. Lawrence River's flooding. Take a look at buy, of course, that's the wrong form of buy. That's as in purchasing something, we just want buy, as in B-Y, caused by the St. Lawrence River's flooding. Notice St. Lawrence Rivers, there's a couple things we need to do with that. Let's capitalize the S, let's put a period if we're not spelling out the word saint. Of course, let's capitalize L and let's capitalize R, it's the St. Lawrence River. But notice, this time the, the, the river is possessing something, it's possessing the flooding. Whose flooding is it? It's the St. Lawrence River's flooding. How do I show that? I apostrophize the S, excellent or the, uh, between the R and the S, so I have a lot of people could have fled the destruction caused by the St. Lawrence River's flooding, Dad said. And of course, I still have two more errors in the sentence. Does anybody see them? One, correct, flooding is misspelled. It's not F-L-U-D, it's F-L-O-O-D. Sorry, it doesn't look like a good O. So, flooding is double O, not U. So, it almost reads like fluting, but it's flooding, F-L-O-O-D. And then, of course, it says, comma, quotes, dad said. In this case, I'm using dad as his name, so I would capitalize dad. Remember, if I said my dad or your dad said, I wouldn't capitalize it. It wouldn't be his name. It would be just a title. Let's take a look at our sentence. It says, well, you know what? First thing I want to do, let's get rid of it and extend it so I don't see that watermark. There we go. We have 
open quotes because dad said everything in this except dad said a lot of people notice we separated a lot because it's really two words of people could have or could have but you can't say could of you can either say could have or could have with the apostrophe e but never the of fled because you don't say they could have fleed they could have fled the destruction notice i put an e because it's destroy, not destroy, caused by the St. Lawrence Rivers. We capitalize St., put a period, capitalize the L, capitalize the R. We put an apostrophe because it's the St. Lawrence Rivers flooding. We fixed flooding to OO instead of U. There goes our comma quotes. Dad is capitalized because we use it as a name and the period at the end of our sentence. Fantastic job, everybody.